welcome to Movie Review Mom. I'm the mom and I do the movie reviews. And my goal is to give you the heads up on filmmaking quality and content so that you can make the best decision for you and your family as to whether or not you want to spend time or money or both watching a specific film. If you are new to my channel, I'm so glad you're here. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you. I very much appreciate your support. Truly. All right. So the movie I'm reviewing today is called Romance in Style. This hallmark romantic movie is now available on video on demand. The movie is rated TVPG because it didn't go straight to theaters. Uh, it's a TV made for TV type of movie. So there you go. It's an hour and 24 minutes. And the movie review mom grade I'm giving it is a B. I'll explain why. So First, I'll give you an overview in a nutshell, and then I'll point out things I liked and didn't like, as well as offer tips for parents, themes worth talking about, funny lines, interesting lines, and even recommendations for some other movies that I think you'll also really like that are sort of similar. All right, so in a nutshell, Ella's unique designs inspire publishing mogul and eligible bachelor, Derek, to include plus size fashions in his magazine. It's not long before Derek realizes Ella's influence on readers is far beyond fashion on the catwalk. The movie was directed by Michael Robison and written by Karen Berger, who did the teleplay, and Luther M. Mace, who did the story. All right, so the list of things that I liked includes the cast. I hadn't seen either of the romantic leads in anything before. They both did a really great job. The movie stars J.C. Elliott as Ella, who's great, and Benjamin Hollingsworth as the handsome Derek. I really liked how confident Ella, her character, was and how she never apologized for calling herself a designer, even though really she was just starting out in the industry and really was a seamstress or a sewer, but she claimed what she wanted and she went for it. And I thought that that was a really great lesson for all of us who are trying to make our dreams come true. She also never let her plus size get in the way of her self-esteem, although she readily admits in the movie that she struggled with it for many years and now has a newfound confidence. That also is a really great lesson. And this movie is a really great testament for all plus size girls to not speak negatively towards themselves when they look in the mirror because they're not a size zero, that they can still be happy and uh, have a fulfilling life and all of that. Candace Huffin is a famous full-figured model in real life, and she makes a really wonderful cameo performance. We get to see some beautiful clothes, shoes, and purses. There's plenty of humor and other beautiful things to look at. Things that I didn't like is that, first of all, Derek started out super cocky and dismissive, but quickly turned into this little puppy dog that just fell all over Ella within just a few scenes. And it seemed like his initial personality dramatically changed. Now, we're supposed to believe that he was better than that, but still it didn't really excuse his attitude and behavior when we first meet him. The movie itself is pretty predictable. The big challenge in this hero's journey is pretty minor and is easily and quickly resolved. So in a classic story, the hero has insurmountable obstacles, but things seem to just fall effortlessly into place in Ella's life. She's surrounded by powerful people who adore her and make career changing moments happen for her. Now, not all of us have that happen. And so that obviously didn't seem very realistic. I also, more importantly, didn't feel much chemistry between the two romantic leads. And that's not good in a romance. Uh, it was more of a brother-sister relationship. And then that kiss was just disappointing, I might say. <laughs> Let me give you some tips for parents. Kids who are interested in fashion or plus sizes might be interested. Otherwise, I think a lot of them are going to be bored. There's no profanity in the movie. Yay, I always love that. Uh, some of the characters are mean. I wouldn't say that there's bullying. Well, I guess I would say some adult bullying. Uh, some of the themes that are illustrated very well are body positivity, confidence, 
fashion, self-esteem, friendship, believing in yourself and power, claiming it, and also uh, some negative uses of power. Now, I always write down funny lines and interesting lines on my written review at moviereviewmom.com. So run over there, check those out. I'll share a few of them with you right now. So Ella um, is talking to her friend and she says, what's a girl supposed to do with all this charm? And again, she has a healthy dose of confidence, but it's not super cocky. I wasn't turned off as it being super cocky, just, um, you know, that she felt good about what she was doing and she was very driven and very focused on what her goals were. At least that's how I interpreted it. I can see other people saying, well, she was just really full of herself, you know, so comment down below. Let me know what you think of her personality. So some of the interesting lines are one is spoken by Ella and she says, when you feel beautiful, you look beautiful. And then she also said, I'm good with being myself because one of her friends says, you know, oh, just be yourself when you go on this date. And so she says that. Uh, because the movie is all about fashion, uh, Ella also says clothing is a form of self-expression, and it most definitely is. It reveals your attitude about yourself, the emotions that you're feeling, maybe when you got dressed up in the morning. It also causes you to act differently. You know, if you're in grubby sweats, then you're going to be kind of, you know, acting like a lazy slob. Whereas when you dress up, you kind of stand with better posture and you speak more eloquently. Don't you think? I have definitely found that to be true in my life. Okay, let me give you two more lines because I think that they're really good. Uh, all, all of these are spoken by Ella, the main character. She says, I'm just looking in the mirror and trying to be the me I want to be. I love that because so many of us, including me, look in the mirror and go, oh, what happened? <laughs> and so I love that she's you know, using that as a form of motivation. And then she says, mirrors used to be the enemy. Now what I see is a piece of glass. What I see is up to me. So again, so many positive messages for women and body positivity, no matter what size you are. All right, let me give you a recommendation for two movies that I think are really great. The first one is The Devil Wears Prada, which is such a great, fun movie, all about the fashion industry as well. Fantastic performances by Meryl Streep and Anne Hathaway. Definitely check that one out if you haven't seen it. And then another more recent one is called Mrs. Harris Goes to Paris. It's also about the fashion industry, but it's an older woman who wants to buy these beautiful gowns, you know, and people are laughing at her like, where on earth is she going to wear these beautiful gowns? But there's much more to the story than just that. Anyway, definitely check it out. Uh, watch my movie review that I just recently made about that one. All right, I hope if you watch this movie that you enjoy it like I did. And I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for spending time with me. Bye for now. Oh, 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 oh,